No, I will not take a seat and wait for him to have an opening. He can make time for me now, can't you, Eobar? I'm so sorry, Mr. Thon. He insisted. <laughs> Your friend is still putting up a fight. It'll give up. All caged animals do eventually. Now, tell me why you've flown all the way out here again. You keep ignoring my requests for a meeting. Because there's no reason for one. Our partnership has ended. You got what you wanted. Your wife and your son are both alive and in good spirits. Your daughter, Thea, adores you. Nissa Al Ghul is trapped in a miserable, closeted life in the middle of Ohio. And, hey, you can even clap again. What more could you possibly want? How about the Spear of Destiny? There are still some things in this world that I would like to see change. How many times do I have to tell you this, Malcolm? The Spear is safest in my hands. Besides, I'm the only one who knows how to use it. That's because you destroyed the Calabros manuscript. Well, it's not my fault you don't retain information like I do. Speedster brains are handy that way. Mr. Jackson is here to see you. Send him in. Good morning, Mr. Thon. Jefferson. How are things down at the lab? There was a minor setback, but the situation is under control. You promised me results. And you will have them. I just need to motivate my employee a little more. But another test will be up and running this evening. I hope so. For his sake. And yours. Yes. <laughs> I don't know why you and Damien insist on toying with the legends. It's sloppy. They should be wiped from existence. Well, I prefer this arrangement. I believe it's called poetic justice. And, uh, what is this project you're working on? I'm a man of science, Malcolm. I'm compelled to innovate, invent, and inspire. A genius brain needs a genius challenge. Now go. Enjoy your family, spend your wealth. The world is as it should be. Be satisfied with your spoils. The others are having the time of their lives. I brought you here to discuss a sensitive matter. And it goes by the name of Malcolm Merlin. What about him? I want you to keep an eye on him for me. We're not your watchdogs. <laughs> what was that? What he meant was we're not spies. We're thieves. Mr. Thorne, I need to speak with you! I just need five minutes of your time. Please. Reality's at stake. The world isn't right. <sighs> okay, let him go. Let him go. Let's just, let's see what he has to say. It's okay. He intentionally hit me in the ribs. First of all, awesome office. I guess it pays to be the smartest man in the world, which is why I have come to you for help. You were saying that the world isn't right. Yeah, this world we're in now is, uh, is wrong. Reality has, uh, has changed somehow. How do you know all this? Um, well, there's signs everywhere if you know where to look. There's uh, subtle inconsistencies in the fabric of reality. Um, yeah, I call them scars. You know, like after you've been operated on. Well, um, reality has been operated on. <laughs> Truly fascinating. Man. I'm giddy with excitement. What's that got to do with them? Well, um, Mr. Thon could help me fix it. Look, all right? You're a genius. You, you figured out cold fusion. You saved the polar bears. You fixed global warming. I mean, you made desalination sustainable. I mean, you solve problems like this, like, every day. If anyone, anyone can figure out why these scars exist and how to put the world back to the way it was, <laughs> it's you, dude. You know what? I think you're onto something. Ah. Something is definitely not right here. Fix it. Take Mr. Haywood. Mr. Haywood, take Mr. Haywood out for some fresh air. And uh, kill him. Me?